Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we will be talking about Nizeria gonori. Now, in among all the Nizeria species, there are two important members which are clinically significant to study for human beings and those are Nizeria gonori and also Nizeria uh, meningitis. Both of them are dangerous and they can cause a fatal infection in human beings. Now, in this case of Nizeria gonori and both of them of Nizeria species are the member of gram-negative coccus. So, let me write, they are the member of gram-negative ne coccus. We have seen the gram-positive coccus which is much more common. But the gram-negative coccus is a kind of uh, uncommon, is a kind of uncommon thing, right? Gram-positive coccus, as you can see, staphylococcus, streptococcus is very, very common. But gram-negative coccus is rare. Now, in this case of gram-negative coccus, Nizeria gonorrhea is an example. Now, usually we can find this Nizeria gonorrhea. So, if I, if I draw the structure, we can find other structure like that. So, it's a simple circular or spherical kind of bacteria like that. And usually we find this coccus uh, two at a time attached with each other. It's a called, uh, called diplococcus. It's called diplococcus. Now, you find this thing as diplococcus throughout the time. Okay. And uh, they are gram negative coccus. They are gram negative, uh, what you can say, round. So, the shape is round or spherical, whatever. So, you can see as the shape is round, right? And also, the another important and the most important point is that they are pileated. So, that means there are small extensions that are coming out from this, uh, from these cells. So, that's why they are called pileated. So, we call this thing as pili. So, we call this thing as pili, right? So, they are pileated now. Okay, and they are non-encapsulated, so there is no capsule there, but still they are having the pili, and they are also non-motile, so they are non-motile, so they won't move from one place to another place, so they are non-motile, okay, so these are the important features about the Nizeria species, and especially about the Nizeria gonori, uh, and the important thing is that this pili that they are that they are currently possessing, that pili is helping them in their virulence factor, or achieving the uh, pathogenicity inside the host tissue, right? And also, this this kind of bacteria they usually present uh, with they attach with each other to make this kind of uh, diplococcus structure. So usually, when you look at uh, we take up the solution uh, culture and look under the microscope, we are going to find this kind. So so if we are looking at this, so two gono gonorrhea uh, will attach with one another and they are kind of kind of slimy layer outside like that. Now this layer outside, what you can see is simply it's not capsule instead this layer is usually it is usually the lps layer or lipopolysaccharide layer because it is a gram negative bacteria it is having the lipopolysaccharide or lipoligosaccharide whatever lipopolysaccharide layer now this lipopolysaccharide layer also serves as a virulence factor and obviously we can see the pili coming out throughout this case right so all in a whole, in a whole, this is a kind of structure like this, holding a structure like that. Now this Nizeria gonorrhea can uh, cause severe infections in the genitals of male and female, and also it can cause infections in newborn uh, from uh, the infected mother, right? So we are going to see in the future videos how they cause infection, what are the infections, and obviously we'll be looking the pathogenicity scheme.